Hey everybody, it's Will with Grimspeed, and today I'm going to be talking about the two separate fitments for our air oil separator install for the 08WRX and alternatively the LGT. Here's a brief look at what comes in the box. Now of course when you pull this AOS out of the bag, it really is worth popping the core out of the body and taking a look around how it actually does work. Of course, we also have our hose, the fittings, the instruction manual, and our sticker included. Now the first step is to get either a 7 8 or 22 millimeter wrench. And we're going to take the fittings and hand screw them into the AOS body, followed by tightening them down with our wrench. Now you're going to make sure that the O-rings actually seat inside the body. The tools we're going to use today are a 10mm and 12mm socket, uh, something to cut hose, a pair of pliers, a flathead screwdriver, and a touch of oil or water to help with fittings. Now if you have an 08WX you should be set to go and if you have an LGT just remove the cover and this is what you'll be left with. Now to start things off we're going to take our 10mm socket and unscrew the two bolts that are on either side of the OEM bypass valve mounted to the top mount intercooler. Once this is done, we're going to look for three separate bolts with our 12 millimeter socket. One is located on the top right corner of the top monitor cooler, and the other two are located on the bottom left hand corner and they're connected to the turbo. Once this is removed, we're going to take our flathead screwdriver and go down to where the throttle body actually connects to the top mount. Loosen this up with a good couple turns, and then you should be able to grab the whole top mount and pull it right out of there. Here we're going to simply remove the OEM oil cap and screw in our AOS. Now the next step is we're going to locate the plastic breather line that runs along the intake manifold. and We're going to be on the right side of the engine bay. We're going to remove the hose from this. Now once this hose is disconnected, we're going to take a, about 2 to 2.5 two inches of 5 eighths hose. And we're going to take our 5 eighths to 1 half connector piece. Now here I'm going to use a little bit of oil to lube up the ends, but you can use a little bit of water as well. Putting a little bit of lube on here will really help it slide in nice. I'm going to connect the 5 8 hose to our connector piece. And then I'm going to take a section of one half hose that is going to connect to the other side of our connection piece. Now once this is assembled, we're going to take a, the 5 8 side and connect it back up to the plastic breather line that ran across the intake manifold. Now once this is connected, this is going to go straight to the middle port on the AOS. Just going to add a little more lubrication to this to help it slide on. Now the next step is going to be to take the empty hose that we have left over and take a 5 8 to 1 half connector piece and slide it into that hose that we disconnected earlier. This hose is actually coming off of the head, so this is going to be one of your head breather lines. We're going to then take a piece of one half inch hose, connect that to the top, and that's going to be followed up by our T connector. Now once that is connected, we're going to take another piece of one half hose. We're going to connect it to the furthest right port on the AOS. We're going to slip it under the fuel lines like the last hose and connect it to another port on the side of the T. Now on the other side of the engine bay, right in front of the turbo, we have disconnected the hose from the other end of the plastic line and put our little rubber cap over the plastic breather hose as I'm pointing to right here.
Now what we're going to do is take our 5 8 to half connector and slide it into the hose we just disconnected from the plastic breather line. Now with this connected, what we're going to do is we're going to take a piece of half inch hose and take a very long section that can reach across the engine bay. We're going to connect it to this connector piece. And we're going to run this line so it goes underneath the top mount. Once we get the line over here, this is going to connect to the last section of the T that is open. Now depending on your car, this will be the first fitment. We're going to start off by taking the flathead screwdriver and putting it between the gray and white connector piece here that's attached to the T that's attached to your crankcase and your PCB. We're just going to gently remove this connection. Now we're going to take our pliers and remove the little clip that's on the PCV hose attached to the side of this T. Once this is removed, we're going to actually remove the PCV hose as well, and we're going to rotate the whole assembly so the PCV nipple is sticking towards the driver's seat. Now what we're going to do is take this PCV hose and completely remove it. We're going to take a section of our supplied PCV line and we're going to connect it to the two parts where we removed it from before. Our line is a lot longer to make this 90 degree connection. Our next step is to remove the white connector piece from the line running underneath the intake manifold. What we're going to use here is just a flathead screwdriver and a little bit of force and this should pop right out. Now with this removed we're going to plug it back into the gray connector piece that we have rotated 90 degrees so that way the male end of the white piece is facing the driver's side of the engine bay. Now we're going to take our supplied plug and plug this into the line that was connected to this system and is now underneath the intake manifold. Make sure to plug this up nice. Now for the alternative fitment, there's a little different way of doing this. We're going to locate the similar type of T and we're going to remove it from the hose connected to the block. With this removed, we're going to remove the other line connected to this T, the larger line. There we go. And once this is removed, we're going to take our plug and plug the line that we just last removed. Make sure you're not plugging the line coming off of the crankcase. Once this is plugged, we're going to push this back into the crankcase vent tube. Now we're going to take a piece of 5 eighths hose, about 2 inches to 2 and a half inches in length. We're going to lube it up nice and slip it over the top connection on this T. Take our lubed up 5 eighths to 5 eighths 90 degree elbow and slip it into the top of this open hose so that way the end points at the driver's side. We're going to then take a short piece of 5 8 hose and connect it to this. button this up, we're going to take our 5 8 to 1 half connector and slip it into this hose so that it's still facing the driver's side of the engine bay. Now either fitment you have, the last part of this install will be the same. We're going to run half inch hose from that connection of the PCVT over to the AOS. We'll be using the last port available on the AOS. When you run these lines, make sure that they're not going to interfere with the intercooler. Now just make sure you tighten everything back up, including the core of the AOS, put your zip ties on, and you're good to go.